What is the grooved pegboard test? Well, let's separate the name of the test, shall we? Let's focus on the word pegboard. Obviously, we're going to be dealing with some kind of a board. And it doesn't matter if this board is made of wood, metal, or plastic. Makes no difference. Attached to this board will be a box. What is inside the box? Inside the box, you will find 25 cylindrical objects called pegs. And each one of these pegs will have a groove on one side. It'll be a little thing that'll stick out. Okay. Now, what the participants of this test are supposed to do is they're supposed to pick one hand, whether it be their dominant hand or their non-dominant hand. Makes no difference at this point. Okay. And using just one hand, they're supposed to take these pegs one at a time. Okay, let's take the pegs one at a time out of the box, rotate them, and place them in the board. Now let me show you what the board will actually look like. Okay, this is the peg board. It will have 25 holes like this. Each one of them will have a notch. You see the different notches? Okay, now here's the box, right? It's going to be right above the board. And what the participants are supposed to do, they're supposed to pick these pegs, these grooved pegs, out of this box, turn them, and place them into the holes on the board. It should be obvious to anybody that this is not an ideal test for blind people. Why is that? Well, certainly the blind people could pick up the pegs out of the box. That's not a problem. And using their fingers, they probably could figure out where the notches are on the holes in the board. That's fine. But do you realize how long it would take them to do this? This is a timed test. So obviously this would not be a very good test for blind people. That means that this test is a visual test. It also is a motor skills test. Why do we say that? Because they have to actually use one hand, pick up the peg, turn it around, and place it in the hole without dropping it. If they drop the pegs on a regular basis, that means they don't have very good motor skills. It also is a dexterity test to see how easy it would be for these people to actually reach into the box pick up the pegs, turn them around, and place them in the holes. It's also a very good test to see if people are left-brained or right-brained dominant in the line of their thinking. Why is that? Because most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, if a person's right hand is the dominant hand, they're most likely they're processing speech with their left brain. Okay, And so, even in that respect, you have to keep in mind that the left brain most likely controls everything on the right side of the body, and the right brain controls all the motor skills on the left side of the body. See what I mean? So this would be a very good test to see if both halves of your brain are working the way they should be. In other words, a great right brain, right left brain test. There you go. And you can look this up for yourself if you don't believe me. All right. Now you know what the groove pegboard test is. I will tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.